This is a guided body scan meditation. To prepare yourself, finding a place and a time when you won't be disturbed or interrupted by the usual business of everyday life. Making this a time to affirm your commitment to your own health and well-being. So, finding a place where you can lie down on your back, on the floor, on a mat or a thick rug, or on a bed, letting your arms be down by your sides, and the feet can fall away from each other. Letting your eyes close if that feels comfortable to you. Covering yourself with a blanket for warmth if that's necessary. It's best if you can stay awake during the practice. So, if you find yourself getting sleepy, trying perhaps to experiment with keeping your eyes open sometimes, or maybe doing the practice in a sitting posture. The particular posture you adopt isn't so important as the attitude you bring to the practice, a sense of openness and gentleness with yourself and to your experience from moment to moment. In this practice, we're not trying to achieve any special state. We're not even trying to relax. So seeing if it's possible to let go of the tendency we all have to want things to be a certain way, and then to judge how we're doing, how our experience matches up or doesn't match up to what we feel we ought to be feeling. Seeing if it's possible to let go of all of that, especially when any difficulties arise, boredom, impatience, discomfort or irritation. When this happens, seeing if it's possible to follow the instructions all the way through as best you can until the sound of the bells tells us that the practice is at an end. So now, lying here and bringing the focus of your attention to the sensation of breathing. You may feel the breath moving at the tip of the nose, at the nostrils, or in the back of the throat, or in the chest, or right down in the abdomen, in the belly, just around and below the navel. And seeing if it's possible now to follow the breath all the way down to the belly. Noticing the sensations of the rising of the belly on the in-breath and the falling away on the out-breath. You may feel the abdomen wall stretching slightly as you breathe in and falling away again as you breathe out. Not thinking about the breath, but allowing the attention to explore all the sensations down in the abdomen, down in the belly, with each in-breath and with each out breath. Riding the waves of your breathing. And as you breathe out, you may find yourself sinking a little more into the mat, into the floor.
just this breath coming in, just this breath going out. Not trying to control the breath in any way, but simply getting in close to your breathing. Allowing the breath to breathe itself. And now when you're ready, moving the focus of your attention down from the region around the abdomen, from the belly, down the body, down the left leg and all the way down to the left foot and out to the toes of the left foot. So, allowing the trail of attention to move all the way down the leg to the toes of the left foot. And noticing whatever sensations there may be in the toes. Not trying to make them any different or moving the toes, simply being aware of what is already here when you get here. There may be tingling or numbness, feeling of warmth or coldness. Whatever it is, allowing it to be just as it is and tuning in to those sensations. The big toe and the little toe and the toes in between. And now see if it's possible to imagine that when you breathe in the breath could come in through your nose and down to the region of the belly and then pass through this region all the way down the left leg and out eventually to your toes. So the breath could come all the way down the body, down through the leg and breathe into your toes. Just playing with that idea for a moment. The breath going all the way down the leg out to the toes of the left foot. So you could breathe into the toes and then as you breathe out, the breath could come out from the toes, up the leg, up through the trunk, through the chest, and eventually out of your nose. Now taking a deeper breath, breathing all the way down to the toes, and on the out-breath, letting them fade in your mind's eye and moving the focus of your attention to the bottom of your left foot, to the sole and the instep and the heel. Investigating the sensations that you find here. Maybe aware of the pressure of the heel on the mat any other sensations or it's possible that there are no sensations in which case just simply registering a blank breathing down into this region as well as if the breath that you took into your body as you breathe in could now go down the leg and out to the foot of the left leg in touch with this region of the body and then taking a deeper breath and as you breathe out letting go and moving the focus of your attention to the top of the left foot and to the ankle the top of the foot the skin stretched across the thin tissue of muscle and bone and the ankle with all the bones that enable us to move the ankle around. Part of the body we often take for granted until something goes wrong. Now a chance to 
Pay attention to it, to be with it, to notice what sensations are coming from the top of the foot and the ankle. Breathing down into it and out from it. Now taking a deeper breath, breathing down into the foot of the left leg and as you breathe out, letting it go. Moving the focus of your attention to the region of the left leg between the ankle and the knee, the shin bone in front and the calf muscle behind. And breathing down into this region of the body allowing the breath to help you explore all the sensations that are already here in this region of the body. Sensations from the surface of the skin right down into the muscle and bone. Breathing. Now taking a deeper breath, breathing down into this part of the leg, and then when you're ready, letting it go on an out breath, and moving the focus of your attention to the knee of the left leg, and breathing down into this region, the kneecap, the front of the knee, the back of the knee, and the sides letting the breath help you explore right into the muscle and cartilage and joint. What sensations are here right now, inviting yourself to be open and to see what is here without trying to make it be different from how you find it. Breathing down into it and breathing out from it. And now taking a deeper breath, breathing down into the knee and as you breathe out, letting it go and bringing the focus of your attention to the thigh of the left leg. Large muscle and bone heavy. What sensations are here? Breathing down into it and investigating all the sensations. There may be pulsing, throbbing, whatever. Not trying to prejudge what you will find as you open yourself to the sensations in any region of the body. It's simply being with whatever is already here. Simply remembering that there's no right way to feel when we do this work. Whatever you're feeling is what you're feeling right now. So breathing down into the thigh and taking a deeper breath as you breathe out, letting it go and letting your awareness shift now to the right leg, down the right leg and out to the toes of the right foot. What sensations are here? The big toe, the little toe, the toes in between, Breathing down into the foot and right out to the toes. And then out from the toes. And now expanding the focus of your awareness to the sole of the foot, the instep and the heel. And then to the top of the foot and the ankle, zooming in 
to whatever sensations arise. Breathing down into the foot. Breathing out from the foot. And now taking a deeper breath, breathing down into the right foot. And as you're breathing out, letting it go. And moving the focus of your awareness to the region of the body between the ankle and the knee of the right leg. These parts of the body which we often take for granted. The shin bone, the calf muscle. What sensations are here? Getting in touch with this region of the body. Breathing down into it and breathing out from it. A sense of honouring this part of the body. Giving it time. Giving it attention and allowing it to be just as it is. Now taking a deeper breath, breathing down into the calf muscle and shin bone. And on the out breath, letting it go and letting your awareness move now to the knee of the right leg, the kneecap, into the joint, and out to the surface of the knee, the back and sides and front. Breathing down into it and letting the breath help you explore any and all sensations that you encounter in the knee of the right leg. Now taking a deeper breath, breathing down into the knee, and as you breathe out, letting it go. Shifting the focus of your awareness to the thigh of the right leg. Heavy muscle, heavy bone. So breathing down into this region, breathing down into the thigh. And allowing the breath to enable you to remain open to whatever sensations are here in this moment. And letting any tension that there may exist exit on the out-breath, if it will. Taking a deeper breath, breathing into the thigh of the right leg, and then on the out-breath, letting it go, and moving the focus of your attention to the area of the pelvis, the hips, the buttocks behind, the genital area, the pelvic girdle, breathing down into this region and remaining open to whatever sensations there may be. Imagining the breath could travel to this region Then when you're ready, taking a deeper breath, breathing down into this region and on the out breath, letting it go. 
and shifting the focus of your awareness to the lower back, the part of the body where the spine comes out of the pelvic girdle, and a part of the body where often discomfort and tension reside, a part of the body that is often a reservoir for the tensions we carry around with us on a day-by-day -day basis. So now giving it some attention, allowing it to be the focus of your awareness and breathing down into the lower back. Imagining the breath could travel to the lower back and allow yourself to explore what sensations are here now. Without trying to make them any different, tuning in to the bundles of sensations that you may find in this region. And when you're ready, taking a deeper breath. Breathing into the lower back and on the out breath, letting it go. And moving round to the abdomen, to the front of your body where the breath moves into the belly and out from the belly. Tuning in to the sensations with each breath, moment by moment. taking a deeper breath, breathing down into the belly, and as you breathe out, letting that region of the body go and moving up to the solar plexus, the region of the body just below the rib cage. Breathing, opening and softening, and allowing the breath to explore whatever sensations are here. Letting the awareness now expand to the whole of the rib cage and the chest. You may be aware of a slight movement as the breath comes into the body and the rib cage expands on the in breath and contracts again on the out breath. Perhaps aware of the lungs and the beating of the heart as it pumps the freshly oxygenated blood all the way around the body in a constant cycle of renewing energy. Awareness now of the chest and the region around your heart, a part of the body that often tightens up and contracts with feelings of emotional discomfort. And allowing now your breath to breathe into this part of the body, to allow this part of the body to open and soften. What sensations are here right now?
you may notice that any tension that builds up may want to exit on the out-breath. And if it does so, then let it go. But if it doesn't, just allowing things to be as they are, as you find them. Now taking a deeper breath, and on the out-breath, letting go of this region of the body, and moving the focus of your awareness round to your back, to the upper part of your spine, to the rib cage as the rib cage comes round to the spine at the back, and up to the shoulders. So breathing in now to the upper part of your back and to your shoulders and shoulder blades. What sensations are here in this moment? The back, the upper back and the shoulders are often a part of the body again which acts as a reservoir for tension, tightness, discomfort. So opening now to any sensations that are here in this moment and breathing into them, exploring them with curiosity and alertness, zooming in to see what's here right now. What is within this bundle of sensations if there are any? What is changing from moment to moment and what is staying the same? Now taking a deeper breath and breathing into the back, the upper back and the shoulders and as you breathe out, letting it go and moving the focus of your awareness now to your hands and to your fingers, right down to the fingertips and we'll do both hands at the same time. So tuning in now to any sensations there may be right at the tips of your fingers and thumbs. What's here right now? There may be tingling, pulsing, may become aware of, of warmth, coldness, whatever. Seeing if it's possible to let go of any expectations about what you should be feeling and tuning in as best you can to what's actually here right now in this moment. in touch with the sensations. Letting the awareness expand to the rest of your fingers and thumbs, the backs and sides and front. And then to the palms of your hands and the backs of your hands. And breathing down, imagine the breath could breathe all the way down down the arms to the hands and that you could breathe out from your hands. What sensations are here in the hands as you breathe? Now letting the focus of awareness expand to the wrists and then to the forearms and the elbow. Breathing down into the hands and wrists and forearms and elbows. Now
now letting the awareness expand once again to the upper arms. And now to the shoulders. So, as you breathe in, imagining the breath could go down to the hands and wrists and forearms and elbows and upper arms and the shoulders. Breathing in to sense what is here. Now taking a deeper breath and letting go and moving the focus of your awareness now to your neck. Breathing into the neck, the front and sides and back. Investigating the sensations that are here on the surface of the neck and also inside the throat. Awareness of the breath moving through this region as it goes on its journey from the tip of the nose down into the lungs. Now taking a deeper breath and as you breathe out letting go of the neck and moving to focus on the face and the head. We'll start with the lower jaw from the hinges of the jaw underneath the ears all the way round to the front below the mouth. What sensations are here in the jaw? And then moving the focus of your awareness inside the mouth, the teeth, the gums, the tongue, the palate, and the back of the inside of the mouth at the throat where the air goes past. And expanding the focus of your awareness to the area around the mouth, the lips, and then to the nose. You may be aware of the sensations as you breathe in at the very tip of the nose, at the nostrils. Perhaps a slight coldness as you breathe in and the warmth of the air as you breathe out. Moving the focus of your awareness to the sides of the nose and the cheeks. And then to the sides of the head and the ears. And then including in your awareness the region around the eyes and the eyes themselves. A part of the body that often gets easily tired with the constant giving and receiving of information. Tuning into the sensations around the eyes, the eyelids, the eye sockets, the region of the face just below and just above the eyes and the eyebrows and the space between the eyebrows and then up to the forehead tuning into the sensations at the front of the forehead and then round to the sides, the temples And so now holding in awareness the whole of the mask of the face. And imagining that as you breathe in, the breath could come up from underneath. Reaching all the parts of the face from underneath as you breathe in and then as you breathe out. Refreshing and renewing the whole face from underneath. Now imagine that the breath when you breathe in could fill the whole of the space of the head, the whole of the cranium. And that as you breathe in, 
he could reach a point at the top of the head, a small spot, perhaps the size of a small coin, right at the crown of the head. So as you breathe in, the breath comes in and reaches all the way up to the crown of your head. You may even imagine that that small spot about the size of a coin at the top of your head could open up like the blowhole of a whale or a dolphin and that you could breathe in through the top of your head right down to your lungs then out from the lungs and up through the top of your head. And imagining now that you could breathe in through the top of your head and that the breath could travel all the way down the body and eventually out through the bottom of your feet. And that when you breathe in, you could breathe in again through the bottom of your feet and the breath could travel up the body in a wave and ultimately out of the top of your head. Just imagining that for a few breaths. The breath in through the top of the head and down through the bottom of your feet then in through the bottom of your feet and out through the top of your head. And now for the last few moments of the practice, coming back to the sense of your body as a whole, lying here. Aware of simply being here, now. Not trying to get anywhere. Not trying to feel any special thing but allowing yourself to be exactly as you are. Allowing your body to be exactly as you find it. Coming home to your body, right here, right now. A sense of acceptance of yourself as you are. A sense of wholeness. A sense of peace. <laughs> 